Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hey guys, Jadin here. Sensors, they are something that quantify the real physical world around us into something that we can turn into electrical signals, manipulate, use according to our own requirements. Sounds interesting, right? Why not make one ourselves? So today we are going to make a simple IR sensor in this tutorial. Let's start by understanding the IR sensor. As you can see, you have a simple IR module here. We have a phototransistor, an IR LED, a potentiometer. Let's have a deeper dive. As you can see here, the electromagnetic spectrum is made up of many components. One of them is visible light. Just right to it is the infrared light which we are focused upon. Let's spread it out. As you can see, the infrared light lies from the 0.7 micrometer to 12 micrometer range. Now, what is a foot transistor you ask? A foot transistor is a small semiconductor device that will be able to sense light levels and alter the amount of current that flows between the emitter and the collector. We can use photodiodes for this too. However, phototransistors are much more sensitive than their counterpart. You might have a question that a transistor usually has three leads, then why only two are given here? That is because the base over here is left open and no connections are provided as we will not be using it. At the very top, you can find the symbol of a phototransistor and at the bottom you can find a typical phototransistor. Let's move on and see what is an IR LED. An IR LED similarly is a solid state lighting device that will be able to emit some form of infrared radiation. Correct? So now these are very cheap and are very efficient at producing IR rays. These can be typically found in remote controls for televisions, electronics and also in infrared cameras. At the very bottom you can see the symbol for an LED and at the top we have a small picture of an IR LED. Let's talk about a working principle and how a sensor will function. Basically the IR LED will emit some form of infrared radiation which will hit an obstacle or a surface and be reflected back at the phototransistor. This will be detected by us when a small current flows through it. Our microcontroller will sense for this and thus we will be able to understand if there was something in front of the sensor or if we fine tune it further we can also get the distance of the object from the sensor. So these are all the components that we will require. The first is Arduino Uno, next male to male jumper wires, USB type A to B for programming the Arduino, a breadboard to make our connections, a photo transistor, an R LED, a 100 ohm resistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Let's take a look at our circuit diagram here. We have an Arduino Uno. First, we will connect a simple IR LED with a 100 ohm resistor in series and connect its positive lead to the 5 volt pin of our Arduino. Then we will connect the negative lead to the ground pin of our Arduino. Similarly, for the phototransistor, we will again connect it with a 10 kilo ohm resistor in series and connect it to 5 volts and ground. Then at the junction of this the resistor and the foot transistor, we will take an input and then give this to the A0 pin of our Arduino which is the analog input pin. This will be a circuit diagram. So let's start by building the circuit. As you can see I have the RLED over here. This is the positive side, this is the negative side. 
I'm going to connect the positive side like this. So the positive side is on the top right now. And this is the ground. Now I'm going to connect the 120 ohm resistor and simply place it here. Okay, that does it. Similarly, now uh, I have the voltage transistor over here. This is the positive, this is the negative. Please note that I'm connecting the positive and the negative together since the transistor is supposed to be placed in an opposite manner. Alright, so now this is the positive of the transistor and this is the negative of the LED. I will be connecting this in parallel. That does it. Again, what I'm going to do now is take my 5 volt line to the other side. So I'll basically connect it here and connect it here. And now I'll put the 10 kilo ohm resistor from the 5 volt line to the negative of the photo transistor. We are pretty much complete. We just have to give connection from the 5 volt of the Arduino to 5 volt line over here. Next, now we have to connect the ground. So, this is the ground. And this is the ground. Alright, and finally, as I said, at the junction of the photo transistor and the resistor, we have to make a connection. So, I place it in between them, just like that. And we will connect this to the A0 of our Arduino. So this completes a circuit diagram. Let's start again. So this is the 5 volt which is connected both to this resistor and this resistor. Then this will go to the LED whose negative is connected to the ground of the Arduino. But the phototransistor is placed in opposite way. So its negative side is getting 5 volt and its positive side is getting ground. In between them we have this A0 pin. Okay, let's start with the coding for our project. First, we are going to open a new file here. Okay, we'll start by defining the pin. So, we'll say hashtag define. Let's call it analog pin or rather input pin. Input pin. Now, and we'll just simply uh, name it as A0. Alright. Okay, so we have defined the pin as input A0. Up next, what we're going to do is we will define this as pin mode, and now we will say input pin, comma, input. All right, so now. This defines our input pin which is A0 as an input pin. So now we have set it to listen, right? Okay, so and also we'll start serial monitor here by using serial.begin and we'll have the baud rate set to 9600. Pretty standard baud rate, okay? Next for the loop. What we're going to do is we will now create some variable that will you know store the value of our sensor and then we will be outputting that on the serial monitor. So let's call our variable let's call our variable int sensor value. Okay. 
okay and what it's going to do is it's going to analog read. it's going to analog read our input pin okay so yeah, we, put, we have a pin over here all right it is going to store so again we have created a variable called int sensor value it will then do analog read on the input pin which is a0 okay and now we are just going to print print that is print the value on the new line and that value be will be of our sensor value okay so now we are going to give a small delay here mm -hmm. so that we and we'll let's say we'll give it a delay of 10 ms so here's the simple code okay again let's see what we have gone through first we have defined the input pin as a0 next we have declared that pin as an input pin so Arduino now knows that pin a0 is an input pin we have then set the baud rate to 9600 next we have created a new variable of data type integer that is called sensor value which will be storing the value of input pin by doing analog read function on it okay and then we are going to serial print that variable okay and we have added a small delay here of 10 ms 10 milliseconds let's see here comes the interesting part first we will compile our code please make sure that you have board as Arduino Uno and the correct COM port selected once that is done hit upload and now our Arduino has been successfully programmed let's have a look at the serial monitor so you can see it's continuously printing a value let me bring my hand closer and you can see that the value changes and then it goes up and down again quite dynamic let's analyze this in the serial plotter for that you can go to tools and serial plotter or you can control shift f so this is our serial plotter what happens when i bring my hand closer to the sensor there it goes down what happens when i move it further back away down and away down and away so when I bring my hand closer, it goes down and back away, down and back away, down and back up, down and back, down and back. I hope you had fun making your own little IR sensor. The applications to this sensor are innumerable. You can make robots out of it that can detect if objects are present in front of them or not. As we demonstrated, you can also detect different color lines from this, hence this can be used in a line following robot. I genuinely hope you had a fun time making and exploring with this project. If you did, please leave a like. Thank you.